Hey guys, it's Claudia, and today I'm bringing you another process video using the Crepe Paper Journey collection. So I'm just cutting off a strip of that wood grain paper to put at the top of my layout. And um, you know, the background paper I'm using is quite subtle, but um, I just really wanted to bring in that wood grain design because it is my favorite design in the collection. And it's probably also the reason why I got two sheets of that paper. And um, you know, I'm just putting it at the top and it's not perfectly straight. And um, I really struggle <laughs> with that. So, um, you know, it doesn't bother me too much because I just don't care that much about things being straight. And now I just selected some papers from my 6x6 paper pad that I wanted to use for my photo. And um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to bring in some more pinks or not, but I decided that for my mounts, I would just stick to a little bit more um, neutral colors, which is why I went with the black um, map kind of paper and this um, brown type of paper. I'm not sure what the symbols really are. I can't really see from here. But um, but yeah, I wanted to keep that a little bit more muted, but I'll definitely bring in some more pinks in a little bit. And uh, I just put some foam tape up on my photo because I wanted to stand up on the page. And um, here I just pull out some ephemera and kind of going through it and see um, which bits and pieces I want to put on my layout. And uh, I knew up front that I wanted to use that camera and that um, vellum feather. And it had some gold embossed glitter at the top and um, I mess up with that in a second and I'll probably let you know because I glued down the, um, or not glued down, I stuck down the other part. So the part with the glitter is like upside down which was a bit of a fail but it doesn't bother me too much and it's too late to change it now anyway and um, you know it didn't take me long to figure out the placement of the embellishments so I'm just gonna you know put everything down because why not and it's been a while since I made a layout with this collection because my last video was two weeks ago so um you know, I'm trying to get a feel for it again. <laughs> you know, it's you know before I would just work with one collection and then use everything up before moving on to the next. And now I keep switching between collections, and I do like it. But at the same time, it's um I feel like I have to get into the collection each time I start making a layout with it again, if that even makes any sense whatsoever. But um but yeah. Um, so the photo is just a photo of me and Romeo when I went to visit him in June of this year. And um, you know, it was a really great day. The weather was perfect. We did a photo shoot first and um, the photos I took of her with him and her other horse are photos that I'm pretty proud of because they turned out really well. And um, after that we just went for a walk with the horses and um, you know, we found a spot with the water. And so um, she said it might be nice to take some photos there. So we did get a few photos and I just love that this photo, the the colors of the photo. And even though I'm not, you know, we are not looking into the camera, I just, I just love it. So I definitely wanted to scrub it. And, um, you know, I thought it was nice for the journey collection. And, uh, yeah, so now I'm just going through the sticker sheet and I pull out this gold for it heart. And uh, it's part of that. I think it's supposed to be a state in the US. I have no clue which state it is supposed to be. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm not going to use that sticker. And uh, I thought that little gold foil heart was cute. So I just decided to put that on. And the same goes for that memories um, sticker. I thought it would go really nice with the layout. And uh, I wanted to get a few more, you know, black uh, pieces in. And now I'm just going through the puffy stickers and see if there's some that I want to put on my layout. and. I just add some stars and you know some arrows and you know whatever else I add to the layout and uh, then I go through the words and cork stickers and I just put some um, chevrons like nothing too fancy I didn't want to use any of the words because they already had that memories up on the layout and um, yeah I'm, I'm quite pleased with the end result that you will see in a little bit um, in the end and um, I'm just looking at the chipboard sheet and I just decided to go with that gold uh, button. And um, you know, there weren't really any other elements that I really felt worked with this, with or at least with this layout. So I just decided to just use that one chipboard piece and just set it aside. 
And these are the tiny elbows from the Craft Market collection and the colors work quite nice. So I'm just spelling out the word precious and you will see that I started off perfectly straight. I really have trouble putting down my letters straight and I started off so well and then the last few letters it just all went downhill and um, not so straight anymore. But you know, like I said, I don't, I don't care too much if it's perfectly straight or not so I'm just going to keep going. And here I just pull out some wood veneer pieces and see if there's any that will work. And you know the symbols that I got um, from Scrobby about a few weeks ago um, in my haul video. Um, their hearts, their stars, their arrows, you know, they perfectly work with pretty much any layout. So, you know, I'm happy that I, um, I got those. And um, they are the Ruby Rocket Fundamentals. So if you're looking for them, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I would definitely suggest checking them out because, um, you know, they're really they're really nice wood veneers. Uh, obviously, I don't have that much experience with wood veneers, so maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. But I think they're pretty good, um, pretty um, good pieces for sure. So now I'm just punching out a few hearts to just add a little bit more to the layout because I thought that would be nice, and. Um, there's a whole bunch of glue that came out, so I had to get my paper towel to get some of it off. You know how it goes with me and glue. It's the same story every time. Same story, different layout. <laughs> so here I just test my date sim to make sure that it's the right date and stuff. <laughs> and um, now I'm just going to add some splatters. And I decided to go with pink splatters because I just wanted to add a little bit more pink to the layout. And um, you know, that's basically it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you will enjoy my future videos. And I'll be back with more process videos soon. Have a great day.